Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. We're looking at kind of a mixed bag. We got a little bit of rain, a little bit of clouds. You might see sun before it sets later tonight. And the next few days is going to feel like this. Eh, 55, 60, depends. Swarm her up, Mother Nature. Turn it up a little. Yeah, and by the way, you're going to get a little chill today. It's going to be cloudy, so, um, you know, have the hoodie or the jacket or whatever you have when you head out to work. Now, I sent you a picture about an hour ago. Uh, we were talking about a gift idea I had for my sister to bring to a friend's house. You could hear the whole discussion uh, later today about noon when all our clips are up on licountry.com. You can go hear what we were talking about. I sent you a picture of... Of the bird towels I thought were nice. What do you think? They're very, very cute. I like them. Um, yes. The bags, also very cute. It's a cute idea. Thank um, you. I go with what Amy says because this is her deal, and if she rejected it, she has her reasons. All right. Yeah, she did. Well, it was actually Dina who rejected it, uh, and then Amy kind of went along with it because, you know, she was getting peer pressure to reject the bird oh, idea. Oh, I so. see peer pressure. All that peer pressure. Yeah. I, um, you can send it to me. I'll enjoy it. Uh, I, you know, don't be shocked if that happens. <laughs> I want someone to have the bird towels, Candy. I they do. They are very cute. Um, all right. I got to tell you this story I've been talking about throughout the morning. So, um, a town in New Jersey is struggling to keep its youth baseball umpires because, as you know, they come under a lot of scrutiny from the parents, right? And, you know, they're they're just older kids, and they don't make a lot of money doing this. Go ahead. Keep going. Right. So, and sometimes they're young, like, not even kids. They're, you know, like adult people, yes. like adult, you know, men or whatever. Yeah. So... Um, it doesn't say the name of the town. I'm trying to, before I get into the story, it doesn't, doesn't say it. But anyway, it's a town in New Jersey. Um, they have figured out how to stop harassment by parents, and this is what it is. If you are caught berating an umpire during a game, you will be banned from the complex. Security will not let you back into the complex unless you agree to this. You yourself will have to suit up for three games as an umpire. Oh. And yes, you will have to call three Little League games, and you will have to be the ump, and then you will see how difficult a job this is. This is a brilliant idea. I love I this love idea. It. I, I love, love it. it too. I think it's brilliant. I think every town should have it. If you're caught yelling at an ump, then you are absolutely out. Now... Let me say, this is Little League, okay? I think this rule should be in place for Little League. If we're getting up to the college level, if we're getting up to the, the uh, you know, the girls' softball, uh, you know, like high level and stuff, that's different. You know, an ump makes a bad call, and there's emotions. Emotions are running high. But when you're talking about young kids just yes. learning how to play baseball, Come Candy, mm -hmm. yeah, we don't need the... Uh, the, could you imagine if tennis had umpires and referees? I'd be yelling at them all day oh, long. Oh, <laughs> you'd be thrown out. Thank heaven we don't have to deal with that problem. As it is, when, when a, a, an opponent, a young girl facing my daughter, makes a bad call, you should see the stares that I throw at her. Candy. Oh, if looks could kill, you're the, just, you're out. The yeah, under the, the breath uh, <laughs> chatter to the to the parents next to me. Listen, yeah. my son wrestled Casey from the time he was six until he graduated college. You want to see fights break out? Oh my, they're nuts. Okay, yeah. grown men, nuts. Yeah, it's a it's a bad scene. It's not just baseball. It's not. Um, no. Yeah, but uh, they they are trying to do something about it in this town in New Jersey. So I give I them credit. I think it's a brilliant idea. Absolutely. Yeah. Put up or shut up. How's That's that? right. I agree. Uh, Candy, it's National Gummy Bear Day today. Not a fan. I'm sorry. I know no. people love them. At our ages, Candy, we should not be eating gummy bears. Anything no, and I sticky. never liked them, so it's okay. 
National Devil Dog Day today. Yeah, I do enjoy it. I haven't had one in I don't know how long, but it used to be the thing back in the day. Devil Dog, yes. We used to throw those in the freezer, too. Really? Very good. I never tried that. Yeah. Uh, National Teach Children to Save Day. A little piggy bank. I some love that. Coins in there. Yeah. It's National Prime Rib Day today. I hate prime rib. You I do. I know that about you. Oh. Yeah. You I don't do. like meat that's rare with fat all around it. Oh. See, I love the fat and the burnt edges. Oh, oh man. I will um, never eat it. If it's served at a wedding, I'll get whatever the alternative is. I understand. It is National Tell a Story Day. We've had we a do. few here today. <laughs> we do. We do that every day. We do. Um, it is National Babe Ruth Day today. Not a fan of the candy bar, but of Babe Ruth himself, yes. Yeah. Now, it's not even his birthday, uh, February 6th, 1895, but this is just uh, the day, I guess, he started his career as a pitcher for the Boston Red Sox or something to that effect. I don't know exactly why it's today, but it has nothing to do with his birthday, just so you know. Okay. It's National Take Our Daughters and Sons to Work Day today. Tilly's working right alongside me here, <laughs> my daughter. I used to, t as you know, I took my sons to work many a time. Yes, we have them doing the weather on... We uh, do, we have them being interviewed by you. We've got yeah. all kinds of things since they're That's... about six, maybe younger. That's right. Um, I've brought my kids to work. Obviously, I'm not going to do it during a school day. They're not taking off to come to work. Um, but, uh, yeah, they've See, been See, they used to job. take off, and I'd bring them into the city where I was working at the time. Yep. It was a whole big doing. Yeah, no, I think I did that with my, uh, went to my father's job once or something with that. But, yeah, nowadays, you're not taking your kid out of school for take your, your kid to work day. You do it on a, you know, an off day when they have off from school or something, you know? I disagree. <laughs> and it's National, um, Poem in Your Pocket Day. Hey! You're supposed to walk around with a poem on a piece of paper in your pocket and share it with others throughout the day. Can you imagine someone walking over to you? <laughs> I have a poem in my pocket. Can I read it to you? And you run the other way. Well, and I also think the point is you don't ask permission. You literally pull it out of your pocket and start reading the poem, Candy. Wow. Yeah. Th I'm not going to do that. I'm going to skip that if you don't mind. That's fine. No problem. Uh, Candy, some good news. How about this? Love this. Mattel just unveiled the first Barbie doll with Down syndrome. Did you see this? I did not, but it's a fantastic idea. It's part of their effort to make Barbies more inclusive. They also have Barbies with hearing aids, wheelchairs, even prosthetic legs. I mean, it's it, there's you got to see the photos. It's I great. If you have a child with any, you know, sim, you know, anything, a, a prosthetic yes. leg, down, whatever. I mean. How exciting is that for them to yes. be all just like them? I love it, it. It's beautiful. It it truly is. A couple in Florida, Vic and Marge Gerard, just celebrated their 80th anniversary. Whoa. She's 98. He's 101. Wow. They got married April 25th, 1943. And they said it wouldn't last. That's right. Their secret is to take care of each other. That's oh, that the secret. Oh, that is so sweet. Yes. A three-year-old with autism wandered onto a set of train tracks in New York. Uh, the crew of an oncoming train saved him. They stopped in time. It's all on video. His mom was looking for him very emotional, obviously. Um, and five MTA workers just got uh, uh, commendations for their job. As saving. well they should. Yeah, that was yeah. something. Mm -hmm. And a podcaster in Pittsburgh named Rob Oliver now holds the record for longest interview marathon. He talked to 137 people over a course of 37 hours and 44 minutes. Wow. Impressive. So an accident in 1993 left him paralyzed. Two years ago, he launched this podcast called Perspectives on Healthcare. It's about the healthcare system. And the record attempt was to raise awareness for his discussions on the healthcare system and everything going on. So, yeah, what a uh, what a job, by the yeah, way. Well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well done, uh, Candy. I want you to have a great rest of your day. Okay. 
I want, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah. a little froggy in my throat. I want you to pick up that new vacuum and start <laughs> vacuuming something. Yeah, no, no, this is just for my oh. wife. Special. Special, just for her. All I don't, right, well, yeah. I hope she does something just as nice for you today. Thank you very much. Uh, Candy, we have a mix today, mixed bag, right? A little rain, a little cloud, maybe a little sun. We're going to see that next few days, be about mid-50s or so. Uh, I'm here till noon. Thanks to Ryan and Amanda, our great producers. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.